This trial of our trek begins at Nimiru, on the western edge of Finstad. Just about the only place to stay in town is Hotel Rita, so there's their telephone number. Well, we're en route now from Tinstad to the villages of Tawia and Tawust, and as you can see, it's now no longer a piste, but quite a good road, all the way from Tinstad to the centre of Tawust. In fact, you can just see Butiwit, the mountain we're going to visit, in the background, jutting out from uh, below the Precambrian rocks of the Jebelugnaut, away there in the distance. We're closer to Taria now, and there's a good view of Tibergint in the morning sunlight. We're stopping at Taria, at the extensive excavations at the foot of Jebel Tazdarut, and this part of the excavations we've designated Pit A, which is quite extensive. We're at the leading edge of Pit A, and right in front of us is uh, a small pit, no more than half a metre deep, where the uh, species of Paradoxides referred to as Acadoparadoxides referred to Moradoensis has been found and is being found. And the material uh, is in the small mounds of excavated material immediately behind it. Beyond that are larger excavations going down at least two metres where the Acadoparadoxides levisetii is excavated. Here is the much deeper excavation immediately behind the smaller excavation from Moreloensis. As you can see it's much deeper and is from where Acadoparadoxides levisetii is found. Well now we've arrived at Tarust and uh, en route to Butuit and we're going inside for a nice glass of tea. See you later. It's a beautiful, sunny, quite fresh morning at Tarust and there's the track from Tarust going on south towards Assamam. If we turn to the right, we can now see Butuit the mountain that we're aiming for. And the official Gaia section in the Jebel Ramas formation that we're going to take a good look at is at the far end of the lower slope. Sorry about the sound quality of that last piece of film. There's rather a lot of wind which is nice for human beings, not very good for microphones. So we're going up now, close to Butuit, past Lassen's beehives there on the right, and we'll soon be quite high on the mountain. Climbing higher, we're in the gully formed by a fault running roughly west to east along the north face of Butuit. So we have to climb up this gully to reach the official section at the far end. section, which is just about where that figure on the slope is, is standing, which is just around the corner from the, uh, the promontory at the far end of the slope there. However, my companions are going to climb up on this side, and up there we have to be excavating at several levels, principally 
in the Achado Paradox Ides Levi Seti interval between 13 and 15 metres. And we also hope to excavate at two, me uh, two intervals below that at 8 and 10 metres, and perhaps between uh, about 17 and a half and 19 metres at the top of the interval known as Palisandal 3. Now here we are, right in the middle of the Gaia section at Butuit, and we're excavating at the moment at the 14 metre mark, where we are hoping to find Cronidia of Acatoparadoxides Levisetii. To the left is the 14 and a half metre mark, and we'll have a look there a bit later on. I hope to fit in a few close-ups of uh, the Cronidia, uh, any that we may find here, and any other fossils. <laughs> well, now it's lunchtime, and it's time for a little celebration, I think, <laughs> because we've survived the morning. And it's very hot, but we're still going strong. We're going to have a bit of lunch in a minute. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's this. Right now we are working just below the uh, purple level at the top of Color Cycle 3. There's the purple level below the figure on the right and the one on the left. And we're excavating a little below that between half a metre well, about half a metre at the moment, and we'll go down to about one metre below that level. Well, we've done quite a lot of work today, so we're packing up a little bit early and heading back towards Tarusht, where I expect there'll be another uh, glass of tea waiting for us before we head back to Tinsdad. So that'll do for today. And hope to see you again soon. This is your commentator, Tony Vincent, signing off for now. of the Jebeluknaat from Tarust trying to reach Asamam which is way up the track up the mountain there. We are high up on the mountains now well on the way to Asamam and there's the track winding away into the distance through the mountains and what a vista. We're even higher now, and there's a magnificent panorama of mountains all around us. We're now approaching Asamam from the north. And this is the view toward the north. If we pan around, we have our first glimpse of the Jebel Amast formation in this area. And there it is, up there. We've come through Hasaman and out along a track towards the west and climbed up this gully which appears in the photograph accompanying the paper from 2014 in which uh, the section in the Jebel Ramas formation is described. 
There's a little palmery down in the valley there, but no houses, I don't think. This uh, shot is taken from rather lower down than uh, appears in the photograph accompanying the paper. But uh, we're not going any further up. It is quite a long way. There's the Jumawa Must Formation on the left, with a few metres of the Kazaf Formation below it, and continuing down into the gully at the bottom. We finally made it back to Tinjdad in time for a succulent lamb tagine at Hotel Reader.